Come on. Is it a planet? Is it not a planet? You earthlings, residents of Stillwater, Stillwater Illuminates. You listen to the scientific facts laid out in this song. You decide for yourself. Is it a planet? Or is it a planet? In Arizona, at the turn of the 20th century, Astro-mathematician Percival Lowell Well, Papa's searching Percival Lowell? <laughs> well, Papa's searching for what he called Planet X Cause he knew deep down in his soul That an unseen gravitational presence met a new planet Spinning in the air Joining the other rate already known Circling our sun up there written March 4th, 1996 in USA Today. And this newspaper article predicted 12 years before it happened, 11 years before it happened, that Pluto was in danger of being demoted. And sure enough, Pluto has been demoted to the status of dwarf planet. Now, I got all these phone calls from people thinking that I was way ahead of the curve on this, but it wasn't me. It was the writer from USA Today. And the thing is, I had never actually gotten his name. I just hadn't written it down. I was in San Francisco when I found the article. So I emailed somebody I knew at USA Today. And it turns out, 30 minutes later, I got an email from Sal Rubel. He's a sports writer at USA Today. He was never a science writer, but he loved the story of Pluto. 
and it was just a passion of his. And so I told him, because I went on uh, NPR and they did a whole thing about Pluto, and I said, find it and tell the world it was you. You were the man ahead of the curve. And I said to him, my one sadness about the song is that I, I sang it everywhere for like 11 years, and I so much wanted it to turn into a sing-along, and it never did. And, <laughs> I love the planets on your fretboard, by the oh, way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've got all the planets here. In fact, Grit Laskin made that guitar, and he, he gave it to me with a certificate that said if they found another planet within my lifetime, he would put it on there for free. But he didn't say anything about taking Pluto off. But anyway, I said, you know, my dream was it would be a sing-along, and that never happened. And he said, well, maybe it needs a little help. Maybe you should hand out the lyrics. So... <laughs> to hand out the lyrics and guess what we're going to call Sal Rubel he's home and we're going to sing it to him over the phone hello hey Sal is that you it's me hey Sal Rubel it's Christine Lavin I'm in Stillwater New Jersey at the Folk Project Spring Fest say hi to everybody hello saying hi to you, Sal. You want to say hi back? Well, hello, everybody in New Jersey. <laughs> so, Sal, I just sang half the song, and I told them how you wrote it, and that you're a sports writer, so before we finish the song, we're all going to sing it to you. I'm just wondering... I can hear you very clearly. Are you going to hear the whole audience? Yeah! Yay! They're not They're not loud enough. <laughs> Is that better? Me to say that. <laughs> okay, everybody, we're going to start on page two. It's after end of discussion finito. We're going to pick it up from he says that Pluto is definitely not spun off. Okay. End of discussion finito. Here we go. He says that Pluto was definitely not spun off.
best day. Yes, it was wonderful. Perhaps the best person I've heard uh, this week. <laughs>